there, this is Amy Morgan, and this is a video explaining my epic build in Minecraft. On the left-hand side, you see a poster for the movie Pixels, and I saw this poster and was looking at the image of Pac-Man and noticed how it looked quite like Minecraft blocks. And so I got to thinking, hmm, I wonder if I could create a Pac-Man like that in Minecraft. And uh, so I went about to, and did that. And then after creating uh, Pac-Man himself, got to wondering, hmm, I wonder if I could recreate the entire look of the poster. So on the right hand side, you can see a still image of a world that I started in Minecraft uh, in which I did that. And it's, um, you know, not an exact replica of the poster, but so I say it's inspired by the poster, but a lot of the key elements are there. Of course, Pac-Man is in the middle. We've got uh, the Space Invader aliens um, there as well in the s pretty much the same colors that we see in the poster. We have the Pixel logo itself. Uh, floating there in the sky. And then in the background, we can see Donkey Kong climbing a building and he is throwing barrels. One barrel he's about to throw and another barrel has struck a building, um, causing the building to be damaged and have pieces raining down. So anyway, that's a little bit about the inspiration for my build um, and a kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of what I was going for. Next, I will take you into the Minecraft world itself and, and show you around. Alrighty, and here we are live in my Minecraft world. I pulled back a little bit so you could see what was um, kind of beyond the poster and as you can see there's not much. I started off with a flat world with nothing in it uh, so that I'd have a nice blank slate to start with. Um, the city block I guess that this uh, build takes up is 104 blocks wide and 138 blocks long. If we come on over here, we'll take just a little tour. Um, so in our foreground here, we have one of our Space Invader aliens. Those were done in two-dimensional. Over here, we have uh, one of Donkey Kong's barrels, and that is three-dimensional. In the center here, of course, is Pac-Man himself. That's what I started with. Uh, Pac-Man has a diameter of 40 blocks. So if we come down to the ground level, that means he will be 40 blocks high from this point. And if we walk up to him, we just kind of get a sense of exactly how big, big he is. So the, uh, in order to create Pac-Man, what I started off was it was with a sphere and I um, figured out how to make that sphere actually by using a website called plots.co.uk. And there's various shapes there. One of them is uh, spheres that they'll show you how to make. You can actually put in the size, the diameter of the sphere that you want, and then it will give you plans for laying down blocks layer by layer. So that's what I did. I used gold blocks and then you end up getting a hollow sphere. And then I, after I had the full sphere, I started breaking blocks to in order to shape the mouth and the eyes. And then afterwards, I lined the entire inside with black wool um, so that it would always appear dark. Otherwise, when the sunlight would shine in there, it would appear golden in there and uh, the poster shows his mouth black and also his eyes black. So that's how I went about creating Pac-Man. I created buildings, of course. This first building, I started building block by block, and I made that that way. And then I realized, oh my goodness, I have a lot of buildings to make. So I did figure out a way to create um, kind of cubes of blocks um, and it's just a command, it's a fill command that you can type in and specify the coordinates for 
uh, where you want the blocks filled and what type of block you want that made out of. And so these buildings over here are actually all solid and then I cut away um, parts of it to put in glass to mimic the windows. If we go over here, we can see we see a few more of our Space Invaders coming down. And then of course we've got Donkey Kong here. Donkey Kong is just two-dimensional, but his barrels are three-dimensional. I figured out how to make the barrels again by using that plots site. Uh, there's a shape there on there called um, ellipsoids. And so the barrel started off as an ellipsoid, and then I just cut off the, the ends, essentially, to make it more barrel-shaped. Uh, I wanted to go beyond the poster itself and not just include the elements that you can see in the poster, but kind of imagine what might be behind the scenes, so to speak. So if we look over here, we can see, well, if we peek in here, we see that there's an apartment here with some people moving around. And over here, we can see lurking between the buildings is a ghost after Pac-Man and two more ghosts back here. So if we come around this building, we see down there on the ground is Qbert. Qbert was not in the poster, but he was an important character in the Pixel movie itself. So I thought it would be fun to create Qbert. And then back on this backside of this building, I decided to kind of mimic the classic Donkey Kong arcade game with the platforms that uh, run up and that was also kind of an important part of the Pixels movie and you can see if I come in here the way I made that pattern was ironically using ladders on the side of the building to give that appearance of those platforms. And then finally one other little surprise over here we have another, the fourth ghost that's always chasing Pac-Man. So, a little bit of uh, behind the scene views. So that's just a short little tour of my little city block used to recreate the image from a Pixels poster.